Hi YouTube, my name's Chris, welcome back to the channel. Today I have an updated Battlefield 5 config for you all and a few tips and tricks on how to boost your performance. Enjoy the video. Okay guys, let's get started. Type Windows key in R, go to services.msc, okay? Click on here, type O, we'll find Origin Client Service and Origin Well Purpose Service. We do not need this running at all for origin to work properly it's probably got to do with origin telemetry but we'll just go ahead and disable those we do not need those running whatsoever okay now let's go into origin all right right click your game go to repair okay we want to repair your game make sure your game is up to date and all the files are totally fine so once you've done that go to game properties let's disable origin in game for battlefield okay we don't want any overlays or anything slowing the game down go to origin application settings let's go to origin in game We'll globally disable origin in-game as well okay let's go to diagnosis let's disable all of these we don't want anything potentially running in the back end slowing our game down go to application scroll down here okay um, and let's go ahead and um, disable origin helper service okay and we don't need origin running when we start our pc okay so once we've done that, uh, right click your Battlefield D shortcut, properties, advanced, might as well run as administrator, okay, apply, go to open file location, let's find our X's for Battlefield 5, um, right click this, properties, compatibility, change settings for all users, go ahead and run as administrator, and disable full screen optimizations, highly recommend disabling full screen optimizations for all your games, you don't want desktop composition interfering with your game and making your mouse movement feel like mud, okay, we need to run the game in full screen for this to work, all right, apply, okay, okay, let's go ahead and we'll set it to the trial, most of you probably won't be using the trial, but we'll do it anyway, make sure those are selected, okay, and done, Okay, now what I'll get you to go ahead and do is um, go ahead and download my config. Um, this is an updated Google Drive with uh, sort of all my configs um, in there. So I'm going to start updating this and doing a whole bunch of configs. So go ahead and download that now. Right. Once you've downloaded the config, go ahead and extract it. Okay, you might need 7-zip to extract this bad boy. We've got that extracted ready to go. We're going to want to find two folder locations. Okay, one is our documents folder, Battlefield V settings folder. Okay, this is where our config is. Now this might be your original config. Just make a backup folder just in case. Okay, if you ever wanted to revert or you're not happy with my config, so you've got a backup there if you ever need to go back, okay? Right, and the other location that we want to find is um, our um, folder where our Battlefield 5 is. So open file location from the shortcut is probably going to be the easiest way. So we've got our config folder location and our Battlefield 5 location. Now let's go into the config that I've given you guys, okay? Battlefield D config. So now this is how to disable TAA. It's already applied in the config. This config is DirectX 11. I do not recommend DirectX 12. DirectX 12 hasn't really been properly implemented yet by DICE um, in my opinion. Okay guys. And so you guys know TAA is already disabled in the config. All right. If you're on an AMD card, you're going to want to revert this. You can just do this in game by setting motion blur to 0%. Otherwise your screen will be completely black. Unfortunately, the TAA disable fix only works on Nvidia cards regardless. Anyway, let's go into the config folder all right documents folder battlefield v settings okay that's where it is okay we've got battlefield v settings we've already made our backup here of your original config okay this is my config just go ahead and drag that across there and that is done the other thing that we want to do is the battlefield v folder the user doc config okay so we're going to drag that across and drag that into the battlefield v folder the user config now there's one more thing that i want you guys to do let's go into your task manager okay go to performance cpu find your logical processors this number here six i have an 8086k hyper threading is disabled so mine is six yours might be a completely different number okay find that number there so that is six we're going to remember that let's go into the user config you can open this with uh, wordpad or notepad plus plus i'm going to open with notepad plus plus because it's just a little bit easier go to thread process account we remember that number guys six okay make sure there's a space before that mine is six so go ahead and save that there okay and that is done that is great now we'll jump into the game and i'll talk to you guys about a thing or two okay now we've jumped into the game go to more go to options now the first things that you guys probably want to do is your key bindings okay feel free to reset all key bindings if you do not like my key bindings that's not going to really affect with anything with a config in video settings here you probably want to change your um, resolution uh, and your refresh rate okay because uh, you might have a different resolution refresh rate to me brightness you might want to change depending on your monitor field of view totally personal preference everything's totally personal preference here guys just when it comes to going low i highly recommend 
um, leaving everything as low because generally in Battlefield if you go low you go pro, frame times are low, FPS is high, you're going to have lower input lag and generally you're going to have a better experience and play a lot better having everything in low settings. Don't play around with this tab too much, I don't recommend it. If you play around with you know one or two of these settings, generally what happens is things in the config get turned up high and then if you set them back to low you can't sort of reset unless you go back into the config and, and set that okay so anyway regardless um just for you guys who are on an amd graphics card make sure you go in here and set motion blur to zero percent you can't use the taa disable fix and now obviously it says taa is enabled here but it's actually disabled with um little user config command and having motion blur to one percent but i'm going to repeat that again guys if you have an amd graphics card set motion blur to zero percent if you have an NVIDIA card, go ahead and leave that and enjoy the config without TAA. And like I said, this is a DirectX 11 config. I don't really recommend using DirectX 12 like I said before. I believe that DICE hasn't really properly implemented it before. But anyway, regardless guys, um, everything else is practically you know, personal preference. I really feel like 3D headphones tends to be better for you know hearing um, enemies and things like that. Gameplay, once again. Totally personal preference, a lot of this stuff. Uh, we'll go to the controls. Another thing you might want to change is your, you know, mouse sensitivity here and your vehicle mouse sensitivity here. Just so you guys know, um, I'm currently running uniform soldier aiming on, okay? And coefficient is 0%. So this is 0% monitor match. If you want to read more about the 0% monitor match, you can find a nice little thread on mousesensitivity.com. It's a fantastic website, okay? Um, I've really changed my method in aim down sight zoom levels and I've been running 0% monitor match in all my games and it's absolutely been fantastic and refreshing. I recommend you guys checking it out, but regardless, you probably just want to change your sensitivity levels there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the game, guys. Um, yeah, so now I'll just quickly talk about the uh, different bits and pieces that you can do to sort of boost your performance um, in this game, which is more or less uh, BIOS or OS side. So guys, I recommend checking out my, um, you know, tweet guide. There could be potentially a bunch of things in there that could um, boost your performance, but I'll just talk about one or two things that I'd highly recommend and at least setting on your system to, you know, get the most out of your game. Okay, guys, I'm going to fire off a few things that I could potentially think that could help your performance in game. You better find these things into my guide, okay? Let's talk about um, BIOS side. I'd highly recommend, you know, overclocking your CPU um, if possible, okay? Uh, make sure you disable any C states or power saving features in your BIOS. Make sure you set XMP into your BIOS for your memory okay disable any c states or power saving features in your bias that's going to significantly help your game okay in os side consider setting a power plan or high performance power plan you can try it my power plan from the guide okay guys so consider setting your timer resolution to 0 0.5 that could potentially um you know it updates your cpu to your windows a lot quicker so it could potentially help your performance in game consider overclocking your graphics card guys um you know disable idle for your CPU and K-Boost, um, for your GPU, you can consider those things and also your NVIDIA inspector settings, okay? You can consider trying out my NIP profile in my guide for your NVIDIA profile inspector settings, which will actually apply those into your NVIDIA control panel as well. So there are just a few things that I'm just going to sort of rattle off and mention to you guys that could potentially help a performance in your game. You'll better find all these things in my guide. But guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you found that this um, updated uh, config helped you guys and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.